Well, I, I buy creativity at Art Stationery Store in Armonk, New York, or I used to until it got closed down. Oh and, now I, uh, and now I have to go find creativity. No, um, creativity is really a human uh, gift. Uh, if you believe in some divine being or God, that's where I think creativity comes from, or, uh, or it's just our inherent genius. And I say that because I think too many people um, act don't recognize that almost everything people do that's interesting is creative, like raising children. I've seen unbelievably creative parents, creative, uh, you know, a guy who runs a business that is an accountant who's creative in terms of how to reach people. How, well, this creative accountant, of course, has another meaning uh, but to the IRS. But, you know, <laughs> there's this, all kinds of creativity in the human. I mean, I think of athletes as being artists and what they do. I think... Um, but I mean, even in the mundane tasks, people can be creative. So to me, it's that being alive is creativity. And in my, the family I grew up in, there was just an uh, appreciation of music, of reading, writing, humor, and they were just there all the time. And uh, in, in a sense of history, too, maybe I think helps. And that just gave me stories to tell and uh, uh, songs to sing, to, to put it in a little bit of a poetic um, hokey way. Yeah. I would much more directly say my grandmother. She was a very creative, funny, uh, whimsical person, and she used to, for example, could make a little dollhouse out of a piece of shirt cardboard and a couple of pipe cleaners, mm -hmm. or um, if we were kids, as kids, if we were bored in a restaurant, she'd make up wonderful stories or little toys out of a napkin and a toothpick. She was just amazing with her hands. And I wish I had inherited some of those creative skills she had. Like, she could sew, she was a great cook. I can do neither of those things very well. But that spirit of coming up with something, making something from nothing and not being afraid to present it to your world, whatever that is, I think I really got from her. And um, I actually wrote an essay about her in uh, The Face in the Mirror. Uh, which was a, uh, an anthology edited by Victoria Zakheim that came out a couple of years ago. But uh, I really think we get it from people around us. And, mm -hmm. you know, if you're lucky enough to be inspired by somebody when you're very young, it's fantastic. Or, and I, you know, I'm a, I, I wrote How to Play the Harmonica and Other Life Lessons. is really a book about, not, not, it does teach you how to play the harmonica if you wish. It's real messages, no matter what age you are, you can launch into something new and be creative. If, and my one simple point is just let yourself be a beginner. And if you're a beginner and you start out with that attitude, um, you're fine, you're comfortable with it. Uh, one, I think the only thing that holds people back uh, as adults is we're experts at so many things, we're afraid to be a beginner uh, um, again. So. Thank you for listening. Please review our other available content for help writing, publishing, and marketing your book. If you have any questions about the Author Learning Center, please contact us by email at authorsupport at authorlearningcenter.com.